Whenever you're ready to speak, go ahead. No pressure. to begin. Cheers, Dad. Tell me about Tony. It's like he wasn't all there. He was so distant and scared, but there was an anger inside of him that unleashes and hurls itself at you. It was an hour into my shift. Tony? Can you hear me, Tony? Bring me a 
playing ball and give him the wrestle. No chance. No chance. See if it were me. I'd send a few lads up here. Yeah. Throwing a stun grenade or you know, a bomb or something, and boom! Bob your uncle, jump down, boom! Not these clowns. Do him a nine. Tony? Tony? Is there anything we can get for you? Yeah, I want some cigarettes. I'm nearly out. Okay. Stay calm and we'll get you some. Get in. In. I've been told to stay where they can see me. Yeah, when well, they don't have a gun pointing to their heads, do they? Now get in. Come on, chop, chop. Well, sit down. I said sit. You're making the place look untidy. Cigarettes. Take you out. You smell nice. Is that personal? You know me mum. She uses personal. Well, all days. Well, no, sometimes days, but mainly personal. Huh? Washing powder. It smells like personal, is it? Yeah, maybe. That's cool. Yeah, stick with what works. Proper nice smell, personal. And don't make you itch. <laughs> Beans? No, thanks. I couldn't get the ones with the little sausages. Well, this is nice. So what's your name? PC Roberts. Look, at some point... You know why they picked you, didn't you? <laughs> See, your sergeant outside would have been looking around thinking, who can we afford to lose? And then you popped in. <laughs> and him outside, the guy's shouting. What, is he your boss, is he? See, I don't like yelling. And I don't like shouting either. You killed a man today. No, I didn't. I killed three. You two take the absolute piss out of me. Do you know what time I got home from work last night? 10 o'clock. 12 hours of looking after old people that I hate. And coming back and you've done naff all in this house. Absolutely fuck all. Three weeks ago, I asked you to look at that washing machine. 
Can you believe that three weeks ago and you have done absolutely jack? I'm sick of you. You do nothing to help me. I clean this poxy house. I wash your stinking clothes in a machine that doesn't work half the time. I do your ironing. You don't even fucking bother getting dressed all day. And you do nothing. You sponge off me, you punts off me, the pair of you. And as for you, you're a grown man. You ought to be living in your own place. I can't stand you in this house. And all you do is sit there playing with that stupid gun. No. You get out. Get out now. Get away. Get away. So, you kill your family? Then what? And you're over. Roberts, are you there? What did you do to your eye? Did he do that to you? Not intentionally. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is Tony speaking. Over. Look, Tony, come out and let's talk. Yeah, you mean lock me up. <laughs> Look, for your information, I'm talking to a Mr. P.C. Roberts. Some barn it. It's okay, Tony. We can Back off! Now look what you made me do. That's my dad. I was 15 years old, and the old man's on trial. I went every single day to that trial. She didn't. No, my mum. She's a selfish bitch. No, the old man, he didn't even look at me once. Not once! Give me the gun, and let's walk out together.